In this video, I'm going to walk you through the extended menu on the QRX200. To get to the extended menu, press and hold down for one and a half seconds. From this menu, you select your modulation type. There are a few different modulation types and they all have different strengths, but you need your modulation from your receiver to match your modulation from your transmitter. Click a link in the description to learn more about those. On this page, you select dual or single mode. Single mode, you can receive audio from one transmitter. Dual mode, you can receive audio from two transmitters. I'll be doing a range test between dual and single mode in a different video. On this page, you can turn your TA5 ports on the back from analog to digital. On means it's sending AES and off means it's sending analog. On this page, you can set your outputs to normal or split, which means the transmitter 1 will come out of the first TA5 and transmitter 2 will come out of the second TA5. Swap or combined will have both transmitters come out of a single TA5. On this page, you can set to see your remote control menu from your home menu. I covered this in the home menu video. I'll leave a link in the description. On this page, you can set the function of the serial port. Off means no commands will be sent through the serial ports. Zaxland QRX means that the QRX will send commands to a QRX with an IFB option board via the serial port. Bluetooth allows you to send commands from the Zaxcom app to the Zaxmote Bluetooth dongle that then sends the command to the QRX with the IFB option board. You will still need the QRX with the IFB option board to send any commands. This is where you update the firmware via the SD card on a TRX. This page changed how the AES was sent out but is since outdated, so this page is now irrelevant. On this page, you can set your AES output to normal or 96K for the mixers that can't properly sample rate convert the AES signal. On this page, you can change how the blue LEDs on the side of the unit react. The blue LEDs represent a valid RF signal. Off will totally turn off the blue LEDs. Blue full time will have the blue LEDs on whenever it's receiving RF. Blue part time will have the blue LEDs on until audio is received. Since the blue LEDs on the side are also a level meter, the blue LEDs will turn green, yellow, or red depending on the incoming signal. And on this page, you enter the encryption code if you have your audio encrypted.